This is a power and flow test for a two inch suction line and an inch and a half return line for a one and a, hor one and a half horsepower variable speed pump, 150 square foot cartridge filter. And we're gonna be measuring flow with this F2000 flow meter. So this, this is a digital flow meter. And we'll also be monitoring the flow with this flow read analog flow meter. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're already at 500 RPM. As you can see here on the system, everything is isolated except this single inch and a half line. And even though this RPM is very, very low, this system doesn't have a lot of resistance to flow, perhaps, you know, 30 feet of total dynamic head resistance to flow. And so it's still getting, you know, just about 12, 12 and a half gallons per minute, even though the power consumption is very low, 63 watts. And a lot of that 63 watts of power consumption or 0.8 amps isn't even the motor. It's, it's actually just the digital circuitry and, you know, transformers, that kind of thing that exists within the, the pump itself. Uh, because even with the, the motor stopped, it has a certain amount of power consumption. So it's interesting to note that at these very low RPM values, you actually use more just keeping the lights on in the house, so to speak, than actually turning the motor. Seven hundred and fifty. And we're about, you know, 18, maybe as high as 18 and a half gallons per minute. 91 watts, almost 92 watts. Still at only 0.87 amps. And if you have an analog flow meter, the way you would read it is at the top of the float. So I would read this one at about 18 gallons per minute. which of course the digital flow meter confirms. So back down to the test here, 1000 RPM. Just about 24 and a half gallons per minute. 132 watts, just about one amp of current draw. It's about 31 gallons per minute. 184 watts, 1.15 amps of current draw. Thirty-seven and a half gallons per minute. Two hundred and fifty-six watts. Seeing about 44 gallons per minute, 362 watts, 1.8 amps.
50 and a half gallons per minute, just under 500 watts, 2.36 amps. That's about 57, 57 and a half gallons per minute. Six hundred and eighty watts, three point one three amps. just under 64 gallons per minute 902 watts 4.1 amps and here we are again with the analog meter you can see it's reading I would read that yeah, right about 63 which is exactly what it should be about 70 and a half gallons per minute 1.17 kilowatts 1170 watts the decimal point moved there on the top right 5.28 amps of current draw Seven, just over 77 gallons per minute. 1.48 kilowatts. about 83 and a half gallons per minute 1.85 kilowatts 8.29 amps current draw and now uh, this will be maximum speed about 16 or 17 psi hiding behind the red there eighty nine point two gallons per minute two point one nine two point two kilowatts just under 10 amps of current draw. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.